Welcome back everyone to Cool Toy Openings. Look at all these amazing toys we are going to go through. It is going to be a good fun time. Over here we have a fun favorite one, Disney Frozen. Up on tops, we're gonna go to our Shopkins. This is the Join the Party Wedding Party Collection. Below it, we are also gonna do another Shopkins. This is the Happy Places. This is the Happy Home. This looks like a lot of fun and I think our kids are gonna have a blast playing with this one. Up on the top, we have another My Busy Book. This is a new Nickelodeon hit show called Bubble Guppies. And then below it, we go back to a classic favorite, which is Mickey, but this is Mickey and the Roadster Racer figurines. Welcome back everyone to Cool Toy Openings. Today we are going to go into the world of Mickey. We are going to be getting into Mickey and the Roadster Racer figurine playset. Now this is a new Disney Juniors TV show where Mickey and his friends go racing through hot dog lanes and having a good time. So this is going to be a lot of fun and your kids are going to have a lot of fun playing with these cool figurines. Pretty cool packaging. Look at the cool car Goofy has. Alrighty, is everybody ready to get in? I know I am, so let's get into these toys. Oh. Well, that was certainly a lot easier. And see what fun Mickey is going to bring to us with his friends. All right, there we go. Ta-da! And we got into it. Look at the back of this package. Look at all the cool roads that they get to race through. How fun. All right. Well, let's get started. Let's start with Mickey, because Mickey is the head of the show. He is going to be the head of the race by getting out of the package so you can have some fun with him. Look at the detail. He's got a thumbs up because he is ready to ride. He's got his helmet because it's really important when you're racing to wear your helmet. Look at his cool racing outfit. In the back, it even has his little Mickey ears. How sweet is that? All right, Mickey, well, it looks like you're ready to race. Who do you want to get out next to race against? All right, well, let's get out your gal pal here. Let's grab Minnie Mouse. Look at her now. Of course, she is adorned in pink. She, of course, has her classic bow, but she still has her helmet on because it's really important to wear your helmet when you're racing. Look at her cute shoes, almost like a little tutu dress. And of course, on the back, it has the mini ears. Look at how cute she is. All right, Mickey, you got one person to race against. Who are we going to pull out next? All right, let's go with Goofy. <laughs> he has his typical Goofy stance, doesn't he? His little fingers out like ready to go. He's wearing his helmet too, and he's got his classic Goofy hat on top of it. Yes, he's styling, and he's going to wear his hat just like Minnie wears her boat. Look at that cool green racing outfit. He actually has a number eight on it. Let's see if the other characters have a number. My goodness, if you look at really close, you can see Mickey says 28. You catch it in there? So he's number 28. Let's see if Minnie has one. She sure does, do you see her number? She's 89. And then of course, Goofy's is big, he's right in the middle, so he's number eight. <laughs> he's got a pretty goofy stance, doesn't he? He's got the Mickey ears on the back. It's like the Mickey Mouse Roadster team. Alrighty, who are we gonna pull out next? 
All right, let's get Donald Duck. No race is a race without Donald. Look at him. He is ready to go. His hands are on his hip like normal, copping a little attitude. He's still wearing a helmet. And he has the number three. If you look really close up there, Donald's number three racer. All right, look at his sharp blue outfit. He also has the Mickey ears on the back. All right, Donald, what well, looks like you're ready. All right, we got one more racer. Do you remember who that is? All right, if you said Daisy Duck, you were spot on. Yay, Daisy. This is the great thing about racing. It doesn't matter if you're a girl or boy, you can all race together and compete. So that's pretty cool. So here we have Daisy. Look at her little princess stance. Daisy, how are you gonna race if you're all trying to look cute and all? She's wearing purple, and if you see real close right up in there, she's number four. Look at those pretty cool purple shoes. Got some buckles on the bottom. She is just styling. She's giving Minnie a run for her money in her style. And look at, she's got her helmet on. She's got a purple bow in front of her helmet. And look at, she's even got this pretty flowers on the side. Way to go, Daisy. You, if you don't win the race, you are definitely winning the style competition for the road racers. racers. All right, well, we have one more figurine. Now, he doesn't look like he's racing, but he's there with everybody. Look, and he actually has like a utility belt on. Maybe he's gonna help fix the cars if there's a problem. And do you know who this is? If you said Pluto, you were spot on. Look at him and his sharp outfit. And he's got all the tools stuffed in there. He's got a hammer here, a wrench, looks like a screwdriver. He's got the Mickey emblem, so everybody knows he's Team Mickey. He's got a cool baseball hat with the Mickey emblem on it too, so everybody knows Pluto is definitely Team Mickey and the road racers. He's gonna be jumping up and help when they come into the pit to have their tires fixed and everything. That's gonna be Pluto's job. He's gonna be helping make sure all of your cars are good and safe for the race. Well, everybody, are you ready to get started? And are you kids ready at home to have so much fun racing with Mickey and his friends? Because there is nothing like a good race. And the great thing about it is, you know, you can have different challenges with your friends. Give each of them a different Mickey character to have fun and then see who wins. Because there's nothing like a good, fun competition. So is everybody ready? One more time to go over who we got in this Mickey and the Road Racer figurine set. All right, well, let's start at the beginning. We have the styling and profiling Mickey Mouse. It's just not the same if Mickey's not in the game. And he's giving thumbs up to his team, making sure everybody knows, let's go. And then his gal pal over here, you of course have Minnie Mouse. She's all adorned in her traditional bow and she is ready to go. Look at her, she's got her hand up. She's like, yeah, let's get this show on the road and start driving. All right, behind Minnie we have Goofy. Yeah, Goofy's ready to go. He's got his thumb out and his finger up and he's like, yeah, let's get racing. He is definitely ready for a good race. And then behind him, we have Donald Duck. There's no good race without Donald. He's copping a little attitude, hands on his hip, but he is gonna give a run for the money when it comes to this race. And then, of course, behind him is his gal pal. You have Daisy Duck. Now, she's looking more like she's going to a fashion show than racing, but don't you underestimate her. That may be her plan. Psych everybody out. 
making them think she's just a cute little girl all being stylish. And she sneaks up from behind and wins the race. All right, and then last but never least, this character is very important, and that's Pluto, because he makes sure all the cars racing are in good shape so nobody gets hurt. Good job, Pluto. There's nothing more important than a good cockpit team, and Pluto is the man. All right, everybody, this was super fun. I hope you had lots of fun learning all the characters, and I hope you come back and join us tomorrow to see what new cool toy we are gonna open for you. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Welcome back, everyone, to Cool Toy Openings. Today, we are entering the world of Frozen. I just love this movie. I think this was a great Disney movie. And if you look at this, you will see that we have some of the favorite characters from the movie. Look at how sweet they are. And look at the back of this package. It's called Frozen Friendship Collection. Your favorite Frozen friends together and ready for frosty fun adventure. Now, isn't that a tongue twister? I'd say that 10 times really fast. All right, everyone, are you ready to get into this? Pull it apart and see what kind of fun we can have. All right, here we go. Done, and we have it open. Flip it over, and let's start pulling out some of our characters. Looks like there's a little rubber band keeping them in place that we may have to snap off. Sometimes it's just easier to go the back way. All righty. All right, everyone, we have our first character out. All righty. Do you know who this is? All right, everybody, if you do, shout it out. This is Elsa. She is our Snow Queen. She has magical power. They just keep growing and growing, and she can freeze things and make ice rings and put snow in the air. She's even created some of her own snow characters, and we will get to them in just a minute. Look at her beautiful blue dress, and she's got that beautiful cape from the movie. And look at that gorgeous blonde hair. Way to go, Elsa. You are just beautiful. All righty, are we ready to get the next character out of here? You know, if you're going to have a friend party, you've got to have more than just one person there. So let's get out our next character. And does everybody know who this is? Did I hear somebody say Princess Anna? It is, this is Elsa's younger sister. Oh my goodness, wasn't she just goofy and fun in the movie? I just love her character. And she was such a faithful, good sister. She was just out to protect her sister during the movie. What good sisters. All right, Anna, go back there by your sister. Oh, maybe you wanna see the whole dress. Look at how pretty that dress is, just like in the movie. Yeah, do you remember when she wore that dress? Same day that Elsa wore, changed into this dress, and that was on Coronation Day. Alrighty, are you ready for the next character? Who is gonna join the party now? Alrighty. Does everybody know who this handsome fella is? All right. If you said Kristoff, you are spot on. This is Kristoff. His job is to collect ice, but boy, doesn't his life get turned upside down when Elsa freezes everything? 
Who needs an ice deliverer if everything's ice? And he jumps in and helps um, Anna go try to find her sister. He's quite a funny little guy. One of my favorite characters. And look at him. He's in that same outfit he wore in the show. All right, Kristoff, you go back there with Anna and Elsa. And I'm knocking everybody over. All right, I'm going to stand everybody up before we go to the next character. All right, girl, come on, stand up for me. These dresses are a little heavier. All right, there we go. Don't touch the characters right now. All right, who do you think we have next? I'm going to give you a hint before I show you. This is Kristoff's best bud. If I can get him out of the pack. Alrighty, I got him. Alrighty, here he is. OMG, how cute is he? This is Sven, Kristoff's buddy reindeer. He is his loyal friend. And in the movie, he kept talking to him and telling him, like setting him straight, he was pretty loyal. And I think he loved Anna, so he was on Team Anna and kept trying to get Kristoff to like, wake up, that is the girl for you. And you know what else? Sven loves carrots. So if you're gonna feed him, just go get a good carrot. All right, the next character. This character is a character that Elsa made. He was her first character from when they were little girls before they had to wipe Anna's memory. Gotta be careful with him too. This is Olaf, and the reason I tell you to be careful because his nose is a carrot. So you gotta watch Sven, because he will try to eat his nose. Olaf, he is just such a jolly snowman. They just love him so much. Elsa makes sure that there is a nice, always snow going above him when summer's there so he doesn't melt. And he was really faithful to Anna too. He always took good care of her on the ventures. All right, well we have one more character. And this one is also one that Elsa made. Look at this beast! Oh my goodness! This was the snow monster she created to protect her castle on the hill from people who were going to come and get her. She didn't need to necessarily do so much to protect her from Anna and Kristoff, but you know, he was kind of crazy. He went after them. Now, here is a little fun fact. You know, I didn't know this until recently when I did a little research. I always thought his name was Snow Monster, but believe it or not, he has a name. And I looked it up. And you, I want to know if anybody knew his name before I tell you. If you knew his name, give me a shout out and say, I knew it before then, because this Snow Monster's name was Marshmallow. Now, how funny is that? And I did not know that. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the movie just to see if they call him Marshmallow in the movie. But believe it or not, that was the snow monster's name. And his job was to protect Elsa and her castle. Because she thought people were gonna come after her, but in the end, everybody loved her and her power. So that's super cool. Now, the one thing about this toy, it has some snap-ins. And of course, snap-ins are little accessories that we can put on Elsa or Anna. I don't think we're gonna be putting them on the boards. I'm not sure they want all these cute little crowns and flowers. But they have all these cute little snap-ins that you can add to Elsa and Anna to decorate them and change up their outfits a little. And of course, I'm thinking if you look at them and you see the colors, you probably know which color should go with who. But heck, you can break the rules and mix and match and change them all up. So if you want, you can take off Elsa's cape and you can actually put her in maybe one of Anna's headpieces. All right, 
Let's see if we can get that in her hair. All right, maybe we gotta do it the other way. Maybe, okay. Uh-oh, I'm losing things, everybody. I got it. No worries. All right, honey, can we get this in your hair? All right, maybe not. Maybe we'll just put it in our dress and have it be some dress piece. And maybe not either. Maybe it really does belong on Anna's hair. Definitely a little easier to go in her hair. I'm sure if you played with it, you can get it in Elsa's. And then look at here. Look at that pretty crown you can put on Elsa. Now I bet this is gonna fit her. Alrighty. There is her queen crown. All right, stand up, show everybody what a beautiful queen you are. Okay, there we go. And of course, we have other accessories. Look at another pretty flower. One is already on Anna's dress. And of course, you have all these little snap-in beautiful snowflakes. All right, so let's quickly go over all of these fun characters you can have with this set. Of course, you have your queen, Elsa, and her sister, Anna. Those are our two main characters. And then, of course, you have Ella, or uh, Kristoff coming up between them. He's trying to help out. Plus, he kind of wants his ice business, business back. And then over here, you have his best bud, Sven. And then over here, you have Olaf, which is one of Elsa's creations and became very good friends with Anna and Elsa. He's just a lovable, huggable snowman. And then back here, watching over everything, making sure everybody's safe is Marshmallow the Snow Monster. Well, everyone, this was super fun. I hope you had as much fun looking at and playing and want to run out and get this toy because this is super lots of fun. And please don't forget to join us tomorrow and see what cool toy we are going to be opening. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Welcome back everyone to Cool Toy Openings. Today is going to be a fun day because we are going to enter the world of the Bubble Guppies. This is a new Nickelodeon show. It is fun for our kids. They just love Bubble, bubble Guppies. And this is a My Busy Book. It has a great story. It comes with 12 of your favorite bubble guppies and it comes with a play mat so you can create your own adventure under the sea and get your kids imagination just going so is everyone ready to get into this and hear the story and see all the cool figurines that come with this all right i know i am so let's get into this in the back, it's great because it has a place to store your mat and your figurines. That way when you're all done, you put everything back in here, put the busy book on your shelf and everything is kept nice and safe until the next adventure. All right, well let's get this play mat open and see all the cool scenes we have for our bubble guppies. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fun, different scenes that we can play with. All righty, let's get this flattened out so that when we put our figurines up, they stand. All right, now let's get all of them out. And as we read this story, we will go ahead and find out if it is with our figurines. Okay, here they all are. And let's get moving on this great story. All right. Hi, I'm Gil. All righty. Let's see if we can find Gil. This is Gil. Do you see a bubble guppy down here that looks like that? Oh, that doesn't look like it, Gil. Don't think that's him. All righty. How about this? That must be Gil. All right. And this is Bubble Puppy. All right, 
Where's a bubble puppy? Nope, not a bubble puppy. That looks like a bubble puppy. All right, Gil, here's your bubble puppy. Okay, bubble puppy loves to play fetch, but today he wants to try a new game. What do you want to play, boy? Oh, there he goes. Let's follow him and find out what game he wants to play. Come on. All right. Let's see what Bubble Guppy wants to or Bubble Puppy wants to play. All right. Bubble Puppy ran to the playground. Maybe he wants to play Fisket Ball with Molly, Nani, and Gobi. All righty. Well, let's figure out who those three are. Let's start with Molly. This is Molly. Let's see if we can find her in here. Nope, that doesn't look like her. Nope, that kind of looks like a little stool for people to sit on. That is her. All righty. Bubble Puppy, we have Molly. Let's look for Nani now. Let's see, which one is Nani? I think this is Nani. All righty. Nope, actually I don't think that's Nani. Yep, it is. Okay, I'm gonna learn my bubble guppies. Nani, that is him. Let's see, does that look like him? Nope. Definitely not. All righty, what about that? Yep, that's him. All right, who's the third character they talked about? That was Gobi. So that's got to be Gobi. Yes, it is. All righty. Whoa, first pick. That would be Gobi. All right, so now we got all of them ready to play. He can use his puppy power to score a point. Do you want to play Fisket Ball, Bubble Puppy? No. It seems like he wants to play something else. Oh my goodness, what does he want to play? Now where is Bubble Puppy going? Inside the school, look, Mr. Grouper, Dima, and Una are playing Follow the Leader. All righty, this must be Mr. Grouper. All right, where are you? We're getting kind of low. Oh, that's just a pretty flower, must go under the water. Oh, that must be Mr. Grouper. All righty, and who else did we have? We had Dima. This is her. So we only have two characters left. So which one do you think she is? This one or this one? If you said that, that is her, okay. And then the last one was Una, so this must be her. How cute is she? Love the purple hair. All righty. So they're playing Follow the Leader. All right, Bubble Puppy, do you want to play Follow the Leader too? I guess not. There he goes again. Let's follow him. Hey, look, Molly, Gobi, and Dima are playing freeze dance. We can play too. Dance, 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 and now freeze. Oh, hey, Bubble Puppy didn't freeze. He's following that bubble. He must want to play something else. What could it be? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't find out what it is. <gasps> Pop, oh, Bubble Puppy wants to play Pop the Bubbles. Ooh, who doesn't love popping bubbles? Swim sensational. Let's play along with Bubble Puppy and the Guppies, Mr. Grouper, and Little Fishies, too. Ready? Touch a bubble to pop. Pop, 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 pop. All right, so we got everybody but the Little Fishies. These two have to be the Little Fishies. Look at them. All righty. All that fun and excitement. All the going pops and bubbles. Whoa, that was the end. So all that, 
and Bubble Puppy wanted to play Pop the Bubbles. Now that was a super fun story, but like I said, when you are all done reading the story, you can put the book aside and you can create your own fun adventures. Use your imagination, go under the water and play with the bubble guppies. This is a lot of fun. Let's go over all the characters one more time. Do you remember who everybody is? Alrighty, shout out, okay, because I might need a little help from you. Let's start with Gil. Alright, Gil was the first character who came into the book. I remember him. Look at that cool blue hair. He's got an awesome green fin, too. Alright, next we had Molly. Now Molly I always remember because she's got some cool pink hair. And that was Molly back there. Alright, and then we had Nani. Nani had the cool glasses. Can you find him in the group? There he is. All right. And then we had Gobi. Gobi also had some cool blue hair. He had this awesome blue and purple fin. How sweet is that? After that, we had Dima. Dima has some rockin' yellow hair with big curls. Can you see her? Oh, there she is. All right, and our last bubble guppy was Ona. Ona had cool purple here. Kind of not hard to figure out who she is, and she's the last one over here. But we also had some other fun figurines. Of course, we had Bubble Puppy. The whole story was around what game Bubble Puppy wanted to play. So there's Bubble Puppy. And then we had Mr. Grouper. He must be a teacher at the school, because remember they ran into him there playing Follow the Leader. And then of course, at the end, we had our two little fishies. Here they are. Uh oh, stand up, little guys. And then the last two figurines, they look like some kind of scenic parts of Bubble Guppies. This actually kind of looks like that. This was a super, super fun story. And I know everyone's gonna have so much fun creating their own Bubble, bubble Guppy adventures. And then, like I said, when you're all done, the great thing about these books is everything gets stored right back here in the back so that you don't lose any of your pieces. And then next time you wanna play, everything is right where it needs to be. And then you just take this mat, it folds right back up, just like this. Goes into the back of the box. Get the plastic back in there, and there we go. Our Bubble Guppy adventure is done for the day. I hope everybody enjoyed this story and had fun with these cool figurines. Please don't forget to come back and join us tomorrow and see what new cool toy we are going to open. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Welcome back everyone to Cool Toy Openings. Today we are going to get into the fun world of Shopkins. All right, this is the great latest fad. We are actually in season seven. This is Join the Party, the Wedding Party Collection. All new Topkins to stack. Look at how cool this is. Now every Shopkin wedding needs these cool accessories. And the great thing about it is on the back, it actually tells you all of their names. Now I'm gonna use this as a guide because there are so many out there, it is almost impossible to remember them all. Anybody who does, I give you credit. So are we ready to get into this? Start the wedding, let's go. Gotta be careful with tearing open the back. Remember I said that's where all the names of these are. So let's be careful so I can make sure we tell you what everyone is. One side open. Let's get to the next side. I'm so excited. I love weddings. 
Alrighty, there we go. And look at in here, it actually, oh my goodness, this is even better. It gives you the little guide to everything in the wedding party collection. Well, that's the princess party. We might have to go get that one, but today we are sticking with the wedding party. Look at that cute little present. Oh yeah, you know every wedding you need presents. All right, so let's get moving and see what we have. All right, we know we have a present, and of course you need a top. Look at that cool ribbon, the blue flowers. That is super sweet. And you can put whatever present you want in there to give to the bride and groom. All right, next, you actually need a table. This you can use for the bride and groom to eat at, or it actually can be used for all the presents. All right, so let's get into our Shopkins. Let's start with this one. Look at how cool that is. Does anybody know what this one is? I've got the guide, so I know what it is. So let me tell you, this is Lucky Lucy Horseshoe. Oh my gosh, it is a horseshoe, and look at all those beautiful flowers. Super cool. All right, let's put that one up there, and let's get into our next one. Oh my, can you get in close and see that? Look at that sweet little face. This adorable wedding shop can is Wedding Bella. Get it like a bell, ding, 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 ding. Wedding Bella. Look at the beautiful heart shape handle. Definitely the perfect accessory for a wedding. All right, well, let's see what we have next. All right, look at this precious one. This adorable wedding shopkin is Cindy's centerpiece. Does everybody know what a centerpiece is? A centerpiece usually goes in the center of a table. It's decoration. Look at how cool that decoration is. Let's take our horseshoe down in our bow. Let's get this centerpiece right in the middle of that cute table. There you go. That is super cute. All right, let's see who we have next. All righty. Wow, that looks like a present. So I'm gonna say this cool little wedding shopkin is Penelope present. Yes, it is. Look at the adorable bow all done up in white because you know whites are. White is the color of weddings. You know, all our brides are in white. Sweet little eye. Look at that adorable, cute little pink nose. All right, so now we have a present. You can actually put a present in a present. Super fun. All right, let's see who we have next. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now this adorable wedding shopkin is Izzy Invite, and that is the wedding invitation. That goes out to everybody who's invited to the wedding. Look at it, it's got this adorable white envelope and the pink invitation in it. Cool little hearts and flowers. And look at the back of it. It's already addressed so it can go to the people that they want to invite to this cool wedding. So that adorable one is Izzy Invite. All right, we have a couple left, so let's see our last couple. Almost got it, here we go. Whoa, look at that. This adorable wedding shopkin is Richie Ring Box. Look at that, that's the box that has the bride and groom's rings in it. Look at that big old diamond. Woo! I want a diamond like that. And the one on the other side is for the groom. You're keeping those rings really safe because we don't want to lose the wedding bands. That would be seriously bad. 
So you keep a good eye on them. Look at that cute ring box. Look at all the precious hearts on it. I love the details that the Shopkins have. All right, let's put you back there. We have a couple more. So let's see. All right, look at that. Do you know what that is? This Shopkin is Goldie the Wedding Band. Oh my goodness, see? Right there. All right, Goldie. Yeah, there's nothing better than a gold wedding band. Oh, look at Weekend at you. Super cute. And you know you gotta have those wedding bands at a wedding. All right, here we go. We are pulling out the last pieces. This actually comes as a couple pieces. You've got the cute little, it looks like for the cake. And then of course you put this on top of it. And this little sweetie is called, well, this is Tommy Top Hat. So maybe it's not the cake. I don't know, I'm sticking with a cake because I want wedding cake. Yummy, yummy. But actually this is Tommy Top Hat. And you can actually, I think they think these you could actually use as topkins. Look at how cool that is. You can put that one, and then the other one that completes it is actually the present. How cool is that? I just love the stackable shop pins. They just provide so much fun. You trying to figure out which one stack together. So this is everything that was included in our wedding edition of Shopkins. So let's go over everything one more time. The very beginning we got the table, which is always important for our wedding. That way our guests can come and hang out. I brought a couple guests to come. Our little shoppies. Now they aren't included in this, but I thought it would be super fun because then when you play you can see these are the perfect size little accessories to have fun at the weddings. All righty, here we have one guest. All righty, and then we brought another friend. Look at how cute these two are. They're ready to party. And then of course we have this adorable little wedding box. Here we had, everybody remember this one? This is Lucky Lucy Horseshoe. And then we went and we had Wedding Bella, and after Wedding Bella, we had Cindy Centerpiece, and of course, oh, your invite is the invite to the wedding. And then we had Richie Ringbox, and after that, we had Penelope Present, and our Goldie Wedding Band. Oh, we gotta take the stackables off. Tea. And then last but not least, we had Tommy Top Hat. I love, of course, the little table. How sweet is this? This is super fun, and like I said, you can bring all of your little shoppies in to celebrate a big, fun Shopkin wedding. Well, I hope everybody had as much fun playing with these as I did. Please don't forget to come back tomorrow and see what cool toy we are going to open. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Welcome back, everyone, to Cool Toy Openings. Today we are going to get into the world of Shopkins a little more with this Happy Places. This is a happy home. Look at how cool this is. Now it comes with the home, which is the big home right here, but then it also comes with Pop at this little shoppy, and the puppy parlor pet kids. That is all the stuff in this room. All right, if you look at the back, it kind of blocks out the other room. So we're gonna hope we have collected all the rooms and then hopefully we'll be able to build the whole house. So the other rooms included besides the puppy parlor, which we get in this set, is the bathing bunny room, 
the dreamy bear room and the kitty kitchen. So we're gonna have to try to make sure we collect all of them and then we will have one happy home. These are all the cool Shopkins that come in to our set today, which are the exclusive Petkins for your puppy parlor lounge room. Boy, say that a couple times. That's a tongue twister. All righty, are we ready now? I think we have to do a little assembly. So just bear with me. We'll see if we can get this done today. All righty. Pull that out, nothing in there. All right. All right, we got the first piece. Oh, might not be too much assembling. Maybe there's none at all. Oh my gosh, this might have just become my favorite toy. There's nothing better than not having to assemble things. All righty, so don't forget now, we're only getting the puppy parlor room. All the rest of the room is we're gonna have to try and collect. All right, so let's get into the petkins and get our pet lounge set up. Almost got it out. One more clip. And there we go. Yay, we've got it out. So here are our, this is our little shoppy poppet. So you don't forget her name, it's up in the corner. And then this is our pet kin's lounge. All right, well, let's start with Popettes. All righty, look at her. How super cute. Look at that adorable little dress. She's got a cute accessory in her hair. Everything matches. Look at those beautiful blue eyes that match her blue shoes. She's got a little blue vest. Look at that curly hair. All righty, so let's stick you back there. And let's get into our next accessory. All righty, here we go. Our very first accessory, this adorable one is the, is the little fireplace. Okay, every parlor needs a fireplace. On cold days, you know, those keep us nice and warm. We can even roast some marshmallows. That sounds lots of fun to me. All righty. Let's see what we have next. All righty. Every lounge, of course, needs a sofa. Look at that super sweet sofa. I love the fact that it's blue. Oh my goodness, I bet she can get really comfy on there. Whoo, that looks fun. See, she can sit on her sofa right in front of her fireplace. All right, let's see what we have next. Oh, look at this, sweetie. This little shopkin is a coffee table. Coffee tables always go in front of sofas. That way you can put anything you want on them. Some rope to your TV, maybe something to drink, a little popcorn. So you definitely need a coffee table. All right, well, let's see what we have next. Now that I mentioned some popcorn, here we go. Look at that, perfect. You gotta have some popcorn, and then you put that right up on your coffee table. Pop up is sitting there, her fire is crackling. She is in for a good evening. All right. And of course, when you have popcorn, what do you put on popcorn besides butter? I like my butter with my popcorn. You have to have some salt. Look at that sweet little bitty 
salt shaker. Oh my goodness. And look at I actually think on top of the popcorn, it actually has a little place so you don't lose it. How super cute is that? All right, let's see what we have next. All righty. Oh my goodness, now this one might be a little stumper for you. Does anybody know what this Shopkin is? All right, well, let me give you a hint. It goes with a fireplace. This is a wood holder. That way you can take all your wood from outside, you put it into this, you put it into the wood holder and then it gets dried up a little bit. That way when you throw it in the fire, it keeps the fire burning. You don't want to put damp wood in the fire. That's no good. And of course, you know, if you're going to have a wood holder and you've got a fireplace, what goes in it? Look at these. These are the logs. These are what you put in the fire to keep your fire going nice and toasty. So these would actually have to go into the wood holder. Look at how cute that is. Super sweet. All right, so we have one more item that comes in this set. All right, let's see if I can get it out. All righty, look at this. Does anybody know what this is? This is just some cool decorations for a room. This adorable is a cactus potted plant. You know, every cool room has to have some neat decorations, and there's nothing better than a potted plant. All right, like I said, we've got all these cool pieces to our puppy parlor, and it comes down here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put everything in there and decorate our little parlor any way we want. You know, I think there is one other piece in here, and that little piece is actually a stool that helps our shoppies stand up a little bit. See how they have that little hole in the foot? That way they stand a lot easier. There you go. Okay, so let's get your room decorated. All right, let's put the sofa right in the center there. And you know, I'm gonna put it a little further back. I like the carpeting and I wanna show that off. All right, let's put the fireplace over here. How's that looking so far? Let's put our coffee table right there. And let's make sure we get the popcorn on the table. You know, you don't want to put it on the floor. Don't want anybody getting into it that shouldn't. And then we have our wood holder with our logs. Let's put those there. Any suggestions on where to put the potted cactus plant? All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to pick myself. Let's put that right over here next to the sofa. How cute is that room? And like I said, you can set it up any way you want to. All right, Poppy. Pop it, let's get you in there sitting on the sofa so you can relax, put your feet up, and have a nice, fun, relaxing evening. Well, that's all we have for this room. Like I said, we're gonna have to let you stick around and see if we can get the other three rooms and make this one big happy home. So come back and make sure you join us. See what cool toy we're gonna open tomorrow. And please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Oh my goodness, everyone, look at all these cool toys. We have gone into our toy closet and pulled out some great fun toys to play with. Starting with over here, we pulled out our fun favorite Frozen Friendship Collection. Next to it, we have all oh, our new hottest late thing, which are our Shopkins. This sweet little one is our wedding party collection. Season seven, this actually has all new Topkins to stack. In the center, we have one of our Happy Home collections. Now this is super cool. It comes with Poppet and the Puppy 
parlor potkins but we have to see if we can get the other three rooms so make sure you come around and see if we can get all of them and make this one great fun shopkin home next to that we have our bubble guppy busy book this is a great story about Nickelodeon, the bubble guppies, and an adventure that you will love. It's got a story in it, 12 fun figurines, and a play mat. And last but not least, on the very end, we have classic Mickey Mouse and the Roadsters. Look at how cool they are. They just want to go racing around it. I don't blame them. So these are our toys that we pulled out this week and let's have some fun. Oh my goodness everyone, look at all these cool toys. We have gone into our toy closet and pulled out some great fun toys to play with. Starting with over here we pulled out our fun favorite Frozen Friendship Collection. Next to it, we have all oh, our new hottest late thing, which are our Shopkins. This sweet little one is our wedding party collection, season seven. This actually has all new Topkins to stack. In the center, we have one of our happy home collections. Now this is super cool. It comes with Poppet and the Puppy Parlor Potkins, but we have to see if we can get the other three rooms. So make sure you come around and see if we can get all of them and make this one great fun Shopkin home. Next to that, we have our Bubble Guppy Busy book. This is a great story about Nickelodeon, the bubble guppies, and an adventure that you will love. It's got a story in it, 12 fun figurines, and a play mat. And last but not least, on the very end, we have classic Mickey Mouse and the Roadsters. Look at how cool they are. They just want to go racing around it. I don't blame them. So these are our toys that we pulled out this week and let's have some fun.